Hey, good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Hashtrash and today we are looking at Sponge and do a little tutorial. Mainly how to clear out large bodies of water with Sponge. But to do that we first need to figure out how Sponge exactly works, because on YouTube there's a lot of misinformation and even the wiki is not correct. So I set up a couple of tests here, the first is a 5x5, flat water. Sponge clears this out no problem. Then here we have a 7x7, flat water, sponge clears it out no problem. Over here we have a, an important part of this tutorial, it's a 9x9. If we place sponge in the middle, it won't clear it out completely as you see, it will leave some corners. And there's two reasons for that, which are both relatively important when you want to clear out large bodies of water. The first one is the max distance sponge can suck up stuff and how that exactly works. So over here we have water source blocks and they flow the max distance which is 7 blocks from the water source block. If we place the sponge in the middle it clears out everything except for the source blocks themselves which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 blocks. Over here we have the same thing, just two blocks shorter, if we place the sponge in the middle here it will clear out everything, including the source blocks. So the max distance is 7, right? However it's not really 7 in every direction because of the way it works. It's a little bit weird at first, but uh, you will understand it pretty simply. So here we have a water trench which is 7 blocks long. So if we place sponge here it should clear out everything here. And here we have a diagonal trench that is also like 7 blocks away. It's 7 blocks in this direction, 7 blocks in this direction. Sponge will obviously not clear this out completely. So it doesn't clear out blocks in a rectangle. However, it will also not clear out 7 blocks into this direction diagonally because it's based on taxicab logic. That means if we place a sponge here it clears out everything up to this block. And taxi cap logic basically works a little bit to rent. Normally you would go like the diagonal of this block is 1.2 meters or something. So this should be like 5.1 blocks or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Instead sponge will go on the edge of blocks and count this way. So basically this is like one block, this is two blocks, three, four, 5, 6, 7, so it clears out everything up to this point. Seems really weird and illogical, but as a matter of fact there's another thing in Minecraft using exactly the same logic, and it's water. And it happens to also be 7 blocks into every direction in taxicab logic. So if we place the sponge right here, it should clear out everything on this pad, this diamond shape. It kind of does, but it leaves some flowing water behind, Ma mainly here, here and here, as you see. Now why does it leave flowing water behind? Although this is technically 7 blocks taxi cap direction away. The reason for that is that there's a max limit of blocks a sponge can suck up. That limit I can demonstrate to you, which I will probably do. So we are back at our water pool here and I have the second button. When I press this, the game will place the sponge in the middle here and then teleport me away immediately, like in the same tick, so the water does not update and stay in the shape where the sponge clears it out. So we will do that and then go to MC Edit to look at the pattern. Alright, we are in MC Edit now. This is where I am, and our water stuff is over here. So let's go into camera view, and you have to excuse my really loud keyboard, but that's just the way it rolls. And now we see how many source blocks we have left. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now this is a 9x9. Nine which means we have 89 blocks, minus 15 are uh, 66, 
minus the block we place the sponge in. Because obviously that water block is gone because we placed the block in that. So sponge clears out 65 blocks. If we hit analyze, we have 65 air blocks in this. Alright, so now we know exactly how sponge works and we can edit the Minecraft wiki, which is mostly incorrect in its description of the mechanics, except for the fact that it clears out 65 blocks. Everything else on the Minecraft wiki about sponge is wrong. How However, we can also figure out how to clear out a large body of water. Imagine you have this, like a huge body of water, like an ocean. You want to clear it out because you want to farm these blocks in a farm. One way to do it is to fill it completely with sand. But uh, that's a lot of blocks you have to place and you can get away with a lot less blocks if you use sponge. However, if you place the sponge like in the middle, it clears out like a diamond shape. Three dimensional, doesn't really work, creates new source blocks. You cannot really spam like sponge everywhere because it creates new source blocks. So this doesn't work, you have to section it off. And the most efficient way I found, and I think it's the most efficient way possible, is a way that I will show you. And with that way you only need to place 59.18% of the blocks you usually would have to place if you filled this in completely. So you want to section off 7x7 seven seven segments and you want to section them off so we have a 5x5 five five of water in between the segments. So you place the sand and misclick and place the sand. Now we have a 7x7 seven seven here around this and 5x5 five five of water in the middle. We cannot place sponge in this, well we can but it won't work. We still have to fill in a few more blocks, you have to fill in the corners for it to work perfectly. And then you just go to the middle and place a sponge from the top down. Do this all the way down. And voila, you just cleared hundreds or thousands of water blocks in a relatively short amount of time. And this is the most efficient way to do it. At least I think it is. <laughs> but I, I, I tried out a few things. It should be the most efficient way. Just to show you what happens when you don't fill in the corners. First layer works fine, but after that it leaves the blocks in the corners. Source blocks. Like these are source blocks all the way down, it's not just like one source block in the middle. Because when you when you place a sponge here it looks like it clears out the bottom of this. But it actually only clears out the side of the, of the corner here. It doesn't clear out the corner, this is all source blocks. If I place a block here, source block below that. Source block below that, source block below that, and so on. So yeah, that's how you clear out large bodies of water. It's still a lot of work, it's a little bit less. And I wish sponge would work differently, like not have the 65 block limit. That would be useful because then you could section of 9 by 9 segments without any problems. But it doesn't work that way, we have to work with how sponge works. So that's that. Anyways, thanks for watching and until next time, have a good day and take care.